right, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and thread the machine. So before we thread the machine, I'm going to go over a few parts. So these right here, these are called the thread holder pins. This is where you put your thread, your spool of thread. You put them up here. Um, this is what I like to call the around and down because you bring your thread over here to this metal piece, you go around it and you bring it down. This piece right here is what I like to call the water spout and your thread will go around this metal piece and down from the water spout. It'll come all the way down here to this piece right here which is called the thread regulator but I tend to call this the down and around. So over, over here you do around and down, water spout and then you go to down and around. So you take it, bring it down and you go around the bottom of it and you bring it up and you bring it up. Now, when you move this, your hand wheel over here, this piece comes out. You can see that? And it goes back in, swings up and around, and it comes out. So this is called um, the thread take-up lever. I call it the predator because I kind of feel like it looks a little bit like, um, there's a scary movie called Predator, so I think it kind of looks like that monster that's in there. And you bring it up after you go down and around. You bring your thread up here and you put it in. To this um, and there is a space um, on your thread regulator that has um, two pieces that come together and you just kind of slip your thread in right there and we'll do that in more detail in just a moment and you bring it down here now right here this is what I like to call the staple and you bring your thread and you stick it down in through the staple and then here and again we'll try to do some close-up shots is what I like to call the lever and you stick it back in this lever helps hold the thread like right up against your needle and then you thread your needle through the eye of the needle and you bring it back. So once again we have our thread holder pins, what I like to call the around and down, then the water spout, the down and around, not to be confused with the around and down, the down and around, the predator, the staple, the lever, and the eye of the needle. All right, so let's go ahead and take our thread, and let's I'll show you how to do it. One moment. Okay, here we go. So we have our, our thread holder pins. So you can stick it on either one. They have two of them, just in case you know that you wanna switch thread colors. If your fabric is pink and also green, you might wanna have two different colors of thread here waiting just depending on what where you put your thread. So there's a spool holder or the thread holder pins. Okay then you're going to bring it over here to the down and around and you just take it to the back and you just go right around and down the waterfall. So again right around and down the waterfall. So nothing tricky about it down back behind and down the waterfall. Okay, the next thing, you bring it down or down the water spout. So next thing you're gonna, going to do is down and around. So you just bring it down all the way down to the bottom and you pull. Once again, just bring it down to the very bottom of that metal piece and you bring it up and voila. And then you go up to the predator and you take it right in between and it comes down nice and easily. So once again, you go up, oops, up and in, hey. And you bring it down. Then next we gotta go through the staple right here. So you take the end of your thread through the staple And you pull it down and this just helps hold your thread in place. There's a lever down here again. I'll try to take pictures of these. You put it around the lever and it just holds your thread um, really close to your needle. Then you take the end of your needle or the end of your thread and you stick it through the eye of your needle. And 
voila. If you notice, when you do your thread correctly, it should form a lovely letter N. So you go down, up, up, down, up. So it's the letter N. If there's any sort of crossing, crisscrossing right here in the middle, um, that will hurt your machine. So just double check if anything's going wrong and your machine is not sewing, you wanna make sure um, that you've threaded it properly. That's the first thing, that's the thing that goes most commonly wrong. Not a bad thing, it just happens. Also on your presser foot, there is a little space, a little gap there. You can take your thread and you can slide it so that it is inside your presser foot and you kind of pull it back here to the back and let it go. All right, I'm going to take some pictures of how to thread so that it might make a little bit more sense just in case you can't see. One second. <laughs> 